everyone, everything you know and love. The birds, the trees, the fish, the puppies. Puppies are going down because you didn't want to show up for work. Thanks. You can't win this fight. I bet I can. We haven't been formally introduced. They call me Killer Frost. Alright, so I'm sorry for the not so great quality. I'm filming this on my webcam because I forgot to film an intro for it because I was painting while the laundry was going and then I filmed the TikToks and just completely forgot to do an intro and an outro. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hello, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is the collab video for Becca and I. I will have her channel linked down below as well as her Instagram and we've done other collabs before. If you guys haven't checked out Becca from our other collabs, I definitely recommend it. Go go check her out. Go show her some love. She's so sweet. She's gorgeous and I just I love her so much. But we decided that for the month of December, we would be doing a DC December kind of collab. We'll be uploading them every Wednesday this month and we're going to be doing looks inspired by different DC comic characters. And this first one is going to be Frost and Flash. So yeah, I'm doing Killer Frost and Becca will be doing a look inspired by the Flash. I'm definitely excited. I will be making a playlist so you guys can see all 10 looks by the end of the month. So if you guys are nerds like us and just super interested in some DC characters and want to see the upcoming looks, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and Make sure you go subscribe to Becca and I will have that playlist down below for you guys. I'm going to quit rambling and if you guys want to see how I got my Killer Frost look, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off as always with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just blending that onto the lid and the lower lash line. And then I'm taking a gel eyeliner and doing a graphic wing liner at the outer corner there into the crease. Blending that with a mid-tone gray eyeshadow in the crease, then taking a lighter gray eyeshadow and blending just above the crease over that liner and mixing it in with the mid-tone gray and then taking a black shade and packing that on the outer corner to kind of fill in that outer V we created with the liner and then blending it in with the light gray and the mid-tone gray running that on the lower lash line as well. Then packing a silver shadow on the lid and the inner half of the lower lash line. And then taking a shimmery black to blend the silver and matte black together and blending out on the brow bone with a white. And then wiping away the fallout. And then packing on a different silver shadow that's a little bit more vibrant on the lid and inner corner. Then I'm taking my Becca Ultimate Full Coverage Foundation. I just formed it up on the back of my hand so it wasn't as moussey of a texture, so it was easier to blend out with my sponge. And this is hands down my favorite foundation for all my body paints, cosplays, all that stuff because it is so full coverage and it's a very good foundation color match for me. And it's not too cakey even though it covers so, so well. And then packing on some translucent powder. I think it was the Everyday Vacay from Ciate London. I'm pretty sure that's the one I was using. And just packing that on with the sponge and then buffing it on with a brush. And you can see I got it everywhere. It is a very loose, very finely milled powder. So it just got everywhere. And then doing my eyeliner and then some mascara. And then again, with all my paint, I like to outline in white first. It just makes it easier to get an idea of where everything's going. And it's easier to erase if I mess up. And honestly, this is where I don't know how to explain what I'm doing when I'm painting. I just look at a reference picture and go from there. Outlining like her jacket right here. And then, yeah, I don't know how to explain this, so I'm just going to let you watch it. So this part of her jacket here, I couldn't tell from the reference picture if they went from, you know, her shoulders to her elbow and then from her wrist to her elbow, or if it like cut off 
you know, shorter than that. So I kind of just did my own thing there and made it go to the elbow. That way when I repeated it on the other side, I at least knew where I would stop. And then just doing a little crisscross here, I found that was the easiest way to get it to intersect in the middle. Then I drew on the collar, which I guess I didn't record that part. Just outlining it with the foundation to get a sharper line. And now I'm taking the blue and just filling in all the spaces on her jacket that I didn't cover with the white. You'll see I end up covering up where we kind of crossed it on the white there in the middle over on the elbow. But then I just went back over with the white paint on top just to get those lines back where I want them. And then here's my struggle with the paint when I move and it's not fully dry. You can see it's just smudging over on where the white part of her jacket would be. So I just went over and outlined it with the white again and filled it all in. As you can see, it's more of a sky blue shade now, but it's okay. I like how it looked and it just added a little bit more depth of having sky blue and white. And then just going back in with the blue on the blue part of her jacket. And now that I had the shape that I wanted, I just took that sky blue color, outlined her jacket part that was all white and kind of just blended it in so it was like a sky blue to white and I cut it out a couple times but I went between doing the outline of the jacket and outlining with the foundation a good amount of times I think I did that at least like five times just to get the shape that I wanted for the collar of her jacket so I cut out a lot of that but I filled in her shirt with the black and you'll see I end up erasing it a little bit because I messed up and um, just went to redo it. So she's wearing like a tank top that's like strappy. So I just had to get the shape right on that. And then again, in with more foundation to cover up the paint smudges <laughs> and then back in with the black for her tank top. And I did draw it on top of the jacket a little bit to get the idea of where the shirt would sit underneath but then I just went back over with another layer of white and then just filling in the white part of her jacket again with another layer of white and this is where I went off camera to turn this into a full torso paint so you can see it looks a little bit different now than it did before and then I'm just taking the black and blue face paint mix them and use that for my liquid lipstick color and this way I was able to customize it to the exact kind of shade I wanted. And then taking a darker brown shade and just shading to make it look like the jacket and her tank top is sitting on top of my skin. Going in and highlighting my face. Lining my lips just to get a more precise lip line because I kind of smudged a little bit with the paint. And then I just fix it up with a little bit of concealer. And then I did end up blending the concealer onto my lips a little bit, so I just went back in with more paint to fix that. Just